Hello everyone and welcome. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about WebRTC. If you're new to this technology, I'm going to explain you how does this technology work. But if you know, you can skip this part and go to the next video. So WebRTC stands for Web Real-Time Communicate. It's a technology that all clients from any platforms like Windows, uh, web browsers or mobile applications can communicate with each other directly. So the data between you and your opponent uh, won't go through the server and you'll bypass the server and your data will be secured. That's why WebRTC is called peer-to-peer -peer connection. So let's see what happens when you want to communicate between two peers. Imagine we have two peers, peer A and peer B. So peer A is connected to a router. The first thing that peer A should do is to get his real IP address. I mean, peer A knows about local IP address, which is a router IP. So it requests from the router to a stun server and the stun server gives back the real IP address. After peer A gets his real IP address, it uses a technique called ICE or ICE protocol or interactive connectivity establishment uh, is a technique that to find a way for um, two peers to connect to each other. So after that, ICE will create a session description for you, which includes uh, the data about your peer connection. So, after each peer creates each description, they have to change description to each other. So, imagine peer A creates its own description and gives it to peer B and also peer B gives its information to peer A. So, they have each other's information such as uh, IP address or what kind of call like video or audio you, do you want to make or video type or audio type and stuff like that. So peer A creates an offer with a session description and gives it to peer B. And peer B gets it and sets it inside its own uh, connection and creates an answer uh, through the ICE technique and gives it back to peer A. So after they exchange the data between each other, they establish a connection and now after that there's something called ICE candidate which is like an STP or session description but it is about the data that is going to be exchanged like video or audio so in this diagram we talked about stance, peer and ICE technique or STP but there are two things that you don't know yet a NAT is a signaling server well a signaling server is a server or a socket server that exchanges the data between A and B. So before they connect to each other, they exchange the offer and the ICE candidates to each other through the socket server. And after they connect to each other, they bypass this signaling server. And NAT, which stands for Network Address Translation, it's kind of uh, converts your private address uh, to a public address so it maps multiple local private addresses to a public one before transferring the information and the stun server is a way to get your public ip address i'll try to give you more information when i'm writing the codes so before you get confused let's dive to the code 